Hi, I'm Karen. <laughs> Welcome to my studio. I thought we'd do a quick trip around the, the area inside so you can get an idea of where I work and then we'll go see what the paintings are on the deck. So come on in. So here we are. It's not beautiful, but it certainly works for me. So my big table works for all our shipping department, which means my husband. So he uses recycled cardboard, he uses all kinds of things to make the boxes so that we can ship the artwork and get it to the client easily. We have mat and glass cutter here. And a few years ago, we added on this extra space for storage for my, my paintings. So I keep everything organized. And there again, my husband did all this. He likes doing all this sort of thing. So all the abstracts are on one side. And then on the other side, I keep the um, landscapes and the florals, that sort of thing. And for those of you who have seen my little minis, especially on Etsy or, or um, Art at Home. Whoops, lost my earbud. Um, this is how I, I photograph them. So this is a light box. And I've got it set up here just to show you. So it has all the correct light. And then I use props like this to give it scale so people can get an idea of how um, big or small it actually is. So this works really, really well for me. We have eight viewers and a thumbs up. All righty. Welcome. Thanks for joining us today. OK, so we'll continue on. So I have. No problem with buying a lot of paint, a lot of brushes, a lot of tools. I figured you need all that stuff. You never know when you need all that stuff. So I keep my paint in the color palette so that I've got all my blues and greens right here down to the darker tones. And then over here on this side, I keep all the other ones. And they're narrow shelves. I've always discovered if the shelves are too deep, things get buried. Things still get buried here, but not quite as badly as a pantry in a kitchen. And so I decided to leave my palette here so you can see what it looks like. This is all dried up, and a lot of people ask me what colors I use. Well, I put 40, 45 different colors down because I don't use just do one painting at a time. I'm doing several paintings, so I like my options. And so I may use some one time and others not another time. So I tend to put them around the outside edge and then leave the center clear so that I can do whatever mixing I want. And then I've got all my brushes and tools over in here. And you, as you can see, I have lots and lots of brushes. There again, no compunction about buying lots of brushes. And I have a problem with not getting rid of them, apparently. But you know, that's the way it is. You never know when you need another brush. So back here, for those of you who watch my YouTube videos, I do all my filming here. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, viewers. <laughs> well, we're going to have a little, little uh, extra effect going on here. <laughs> a little slide motion. Yeah. So I keep the camera on the, the um, uh, tripod, and it's aimed at my, my easel over here, and that way I can when I remember, turn it on so that I can film whatever I'm going to do. Another workspace here, so I have a fan. And then that helps with my drawing in between all the different layers that I do. And then back behind you over here is my easel. And it's a special easel because this is one my dad built for himself. And I inherited. So we have added on extra um, pieces of wood because I work on things that are quite large sometimes. And so it'll go back and forth, up and down, and roll around. So that all works pretty well. Viewer Susan Phelps Kiggins says, awesome setup, great studio. Ah, oh, thank you, Susan. Thanks for joining us. So nice to have you. Okay, so over in here, I've got storage for mats. I used to use this more often with other uh, work that I did. Computer that I generally, it's an older computer that I Listen to my music on mainly. Your music's an inspiration sometimes, isn't it? Uh, it is, yes. I think 
you know, that's another thing people ask me is, where do you get your inspiration? And I think, oh, you you have a lifetime full of inspiration. I've done a lot of traveling, so that aspect comes into my work. I live in a beautiful place in the foothills of the Sierra, so that you can't beat that. So continuing the tour around, I got a small little paper cutter here that gets lots of use. This is a um, stretching machine for the canvases. My husband builds all the canvases for me. So uh, this is how he does. He uses this machine. He's got lots more equipment in his workshop. Well, for heaven's sake. <laughs> yes. You can tell we're new to this. I can't agree. <laughs> Okay. So the stretching machine we can't use for yoga. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we, as we go out the door, we like to use the um, recycle cardboard to for some of the shipping. So that's what we've always got a little pile of cardboard here. So that's always handy. So I'll turn off the lights, and we'll walk out towards the the deck, and. It's, uh, it's getting to be a warmer day. It's a little overcast. It's supposed to be pretty nice today and tomorrow. Mother Nature may throw us a little curveball on Sunday. So uh, they're saying rain, so we're going to kind of play that by ear as far as the in-person um, shopping goes. So I'll put an announcement on my, um, my website whether the in-person will be closed that day. But the online will be available. So you've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday to do online shopping. Everything is 50% off. Uh, shipping and sales tax apply if um, that is applicable. But you're welcome to come by. Or if you, if you want, there's another option if you, if you want. If you see something you like and you can't get here this weekend, but if you want to go ahead and purchase the item, you can come pick it up in a week or so if that works for you. So that's that maybe would work for you. Anyway, the website? the website is KarenHale.com, and down on the crawler, you should have all the information: my uh, phone number, the website, and the uh, email. So you can get a hold of me anyway that way. So if we walk this way, we're in um, what's called the Gold Country of California. It's in the uh, an hour southeast of Sacramento in the foothills of the Sierra Nevada mountains. So we're about 1,200 feet. And so this is my view out my front window. So. And on other days it's stunning. I, we don't have such a beautiful sky. I know. Amazing. We face west, which is kind of nice because I can see all the weather coming. Although this doesn't want to go anywhere right now. So as we walk back here, Yeah, a lot of my um, my landscapes are from areas around here where I have visited, and so I, I take a lot of photographs. We just oh, there you are. You disappeared. <laughs> Sorry about the glitch, guys. <laughs> We have a very enthusiastic videographer. <laughs> she just all we're both just very new to this. So so here we go. Oh, well, hello, you snuck in on me. I didn't see you. Are you sure? We're, They're beautiful. Thank you. They are just remarkable. Thank you. I didn't hear you come in. We're doing a live stream on Facebook oh, right at the moment. Oh, well, they're awesome. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah. Feel free to walk around. We did. Oh, <laughs> you're way ahead of me. <laughs> yeah, we saw your sign yesterday. We've been waiting. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet of you. So you obviously are local. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Am I sharing your names? Wendy and Tommy. Nice to meet you. You're a Tommy? Yeah. I'm married to a Tommy. Sure, yeah. <laughs> We're the, actually a Tommy, not a Tom. Well, his name is Thomas E. Hale, Tom E. Hale. Oh, He's okay. always been called Tommy. Oh, okay. And so I've always called him that. Yeah. And a lot of people do. It's funny. I, 
I grew up in Texas, and nobody there had a problem with Tommy. I know. But I'll introduce myself as Tommy, and they'll go, "Hi, Tom." I know. <laughs> just I, won't I, say I it. Yeah. A, lot, a lot of adults are like, "Isn't that funny?" <laughs> <laughs> These are really beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like them. Yeah, we, we heard you in the studio. We stuck our head in, but oh. like you were on the phone. No, no. I I had planned to do this live stream okay. the other day. So, if you don't mind, I'll get back to that. Thanks so much. Uh, Thanks for coming. You want to start with your minis? Yeah, we'll go back over here to the minis. So, I have a lot of different sizes, a lot of different price points. <laughs> These are my minis at six inches by six inches. So, they can sit on a table, they're little chubby things, or they can hang and go in groupings or, or uh, hang on, on their own. A lot of people tend to, to collect these. And um, so I have series of things, like this is a, a sea, coastal scenes in here, the ponds, florals, and then these are kind of an autumn set. And then I have the abstracts. I love those. Totally so amazing. These are nice. So these retail for $75. I can't get it straight. <laughs> there we go. What? I couldn't get them straight. Oh, <laughs> for seventy-five dollars. So um, this weekend that'd be half that price. So a nice gift that would work. So um, shipping and tax are going to apply if um, if that's applicable. So all of this is on my website, KarenHale.com. You get a little drink of water. So these are some of the, just a sample of some of the larger abstracts. This one is 36 inches by 48 inches, so three feet by four feet. And uh, so to make a nice big statement piece in any room, over couch, an entryway, nice big wall that you have. It's a good example of letting color flow into another and the freedom of it, how that works, and with my layering, how one color reacts with another. So you can see as one color blends into another, you're getting several different shades that are subtle. So you can Im imagine a, an impact immediately. And then when you look at it, a little closer inspection, you see other nuances of it. So it's called exploration. And the regular price on it is $4,300, so it would be half of that. I think that's what's so brilliant about these is, is um, how it looks far away. And as you get up closer, as you mentioned, there are just all these really wonderful details that you don't necessarily see when you're standing back. That's true. That's true. So I, I usually have a focal point that I like to start with, so like this. And then as your eye moves around the picture plane, you, and because of the palette and the, um, the uh, form and the size, everything kind of moves around. So your eye has a place to start, your eye moves around, has a place to rest, continues on, and comes back to the focal point. So we'll move on to the next area. Yes, hi. Just a quick question. Right up here, I'm sorry it's not your artwork, but do you have a gimbal out there? This is, this is the gimbal that she's using. No, I mean, there's a, a one out here beside your shop that's got the arrow through it. Oh, I, a, a gimbal? Um, my husband should be out there. Maybe you can ask. I'm not quite sure. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. OK, so over in here are some more of the abstracts. This is a particular favorite of mine. This one is. Part of a series I did uh, that's a time. Time is in all the, the uh, titles of it. This one's called Chasing Time, and it's 30 by 40. So um, they're going to make some nice size for over a, a sofa. This was done in a little different way. I usually work on the, the um, easel most of the time. This one was worked flat on that table in the back of the studio. And so a lot of the color was very thin. And I moved it with shapers and scrapers and everything I could think of. And then when it got to a certain point, I took it onto the easel. But you can there again, you can see how one color moves into another. I love the freedom that it has and the boldness. So then your eye just moves around the whole thing. 
and you've got all these interesting things. So this is $2,700 regular price. So it would be half of that. There again, you can check my website. The crawler has all the information on it, karenhale.com. And so another one that's part of the time series is called Intersecting Time, a little tighter than the other one. But still interesting, this has a little bit more texture to it than the, the other piece, but still has nuances of color as one comes through the next. So we'll take a little tiny Zen moment and go over here to my elevated garden and have a, a fountain moment. And then as we come around here, this is a series of Oh, homemade cookies. <laughs> Some of my very favorites. <laughs> and my daughter's, as you could tell. <laughs> so these are all reminiscent of trips that I had taken to Europe. My friend and I used to go every fall, and that's the only time that I could go. So a lot of those are inspired by the colors of that time, of course. So this is one I just finished. It's uh, 48 so f by 48, so four foot by four foot. Makes a real strong statement. It's called Autumn Memories. And the regular price on it is $5,600. So the sale price would be half of that. And then these two are from photos that I took when I was in um, the Netherlands. So this one in particular, it's my interpretation of the photo that I took. In the photo there were all kinds of houses here on the other side of the water. So we eliminated the houses. And so I just made it more of a, a rural scene. So this one is 18. What is it about this one that you love so much? I like the way that the colors interact and I like the blue greens in through here. I tend to go towards more than the yellow greens. I think one of my favorites about these pieces is the use of what one might consider unusual colors in the landscape. That's true. That's true. And and the, and the one on top of that, this one is a, a, even a better example of that. When you look at it, it has orchid and lavenders and different shades of, of um, warm tones in the trees. It has the lavenders in it and, the, and even blues. So there again, the colors, one color comes through the next and creates a third and fourth. This one is called Woodland. It's 30 by 48. And the price on that is $3,600 regular. So it'd be half of that. So viewer Mary Ann Galita Teitman, excuse me if I haven't pronounced that correctly, says beautiful paintings. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate that. OK, let's move on down around the other way. Here we stop by the ocean. So we've got a few things here. I did a whole series of these 14 by 14s. I only have a few left, but these were always nice to use as a, uh, um, a gallery wall. Put several of them together or combine it with something else that you might have. And so, but you know, a little smaller scale, depending on, not everybody has a big space to put a painting in. So uh, this is hands. Or a great gift. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So these are 14 by 14, and the retail on them is $450, and so it's half of that. So this one, for instance, is called Take a Moment. So that's a good title, I think, Take a Moment. You're by the ocean. I grew up near the, the beach, so I tend to like all of that. So that whole series I did were all coastal scenes for this particular thing. I did some florals also. And then over here are the more neutral landscapes. About 12 years ago, I was challenged by a designer I was working with to do landscapes that were minimal and color minimal and feel, which was a bit of a stretch for me. I hadn't done landscapes, so I was just doing colorful abstracts. So this was an interesting <laughs> project for me. So this 
this big one here is 47 inches by 60 so it's almost four foot tall by five foot wide so there again would be um, real good in a, you know on a nice big wall and it's called artfully serene it's sixty five hundred dollars regular price so it would be half of that and then these two to the left each are 30 by 30 so that's two and a half feet square so they make a good companion piece or they can stand alone either way they um, are um, $2,200 a piece retail so it's half of that and so if you put them side by side say over a couch or a bed and maybe three inches or so in between so you've got it it's covering a span that's more than five feet wide so there again makes a nice strong statement but with these it's it has a little more subtlety to it so it's kind of nice and calming and cool and makes you feel good so as we move around this is I just finished this oh about two weeks ago and they're getting a little different palette for me we used to do a lot of art shows in the Bay Area and we travel through agricultural country in one little town called, called Lockford and on either side of the highway are walnut orchards and so this reminds me of those walnut orchards they flood irrigate it so this kind of gets you the feeling of the, the water that's standing in the in the grove and so these I did four of these actually I had only intended to do one and I don't like to waste paint so I kept going this one's called early morning in the orchard and it measures um, 24 by 48 so two foot by four foot it's a nice size still makes a statement twenty four hundred dollars and half of that so as I mentioned before all the information is in the crawler down below so at my website is karenhale.com you can uh, email me at karenhale at karenhale.com or the phone number is down there also or if you're on Facebook send me a DM and hopefully I'll see it I have trouble seeing those sometimes but <laughs> I'll, I'll make a better attempt okay so now we're on the floral section so here again I was challenged and um, much more comfortable with them than I was a few years ago some of these are, are fairly new these are brighter ones this one is fairly new and so I have a lot of subtlety going on in the colors and then they start getting defined by the pencil the pen line and then more work done on top of that so you still get the feeling of what it is but it still has this ethereal look so that you can see how there again and that's the hallmark of my work is the layering and how one color comes to the next I let each layer dry and I use thin coats of paint and just keep doing it so there'll be as many as 20 layers on each painting so and this is a little brighter version of I must have been in a bright happy mood that day <laughs> so we worked on this one and this one um, I don't remember the size on it let me see what it says it is 20 by 48 so almost two two feet tall but there again would be a nice statement piece so changing a little bit this is an earlier piece it has more muted but still kind of gives the feel of a an impressionistic flower so you've got one tone on top of another and the pen line is making your eye tell you exactly what you're seeing so you don't have to guess and this is a 24 by 24 two foot by two foot sixteen hundred dollars regular price so okay so we've got a couple more out here some more florals and they're getting a little bit more muted more layers <coughs> a lot of these I've done videos on like I mentioned when we were in the studio 
and their YouTube demos. So I have over 250 demos on YouTube if you're interested in seeing some of those. These, these are two that are on there. The new one I mentioned about the Walnut Orchard is on there. There are a lot of them. So it gives you an idea of, of how I, I work and how one thing goes into another. Whoops, a little hummingbird visiting. <laughs> okay, I think we've done the tour. Thank you so much for joining us. There again, the sale runs today through Sunday. If we have rain on Sunday and I have to close the in-person, I will let you know on my website. Uh, but the online is still open, so you have three days to take advantage of the 50% off for the next three days through uh, Sunday. So contact me one way or another, and I'll be sure to get back to you, and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you so much for joining us. I Thank appreciate you. it. Bye-bye.